So why did your dad uh, send you to the American school? Well, my dad had been educated in the U.S. and he thought it was important for me and my brother to be not bilingual, but bicultural. And obviously it worked because I feel very strongly Mexican and I feel strongly American. And I am class of 1984. You are? I would have been class of 80, but uh, I left Mexico while I was in elementary school and moved out when uh, I came to fifth grade. But I do also feel bicultural. That's something that we do have in common. Uh, I have a very strong connection to Mexican culture and yet still raised as an American. And American school is part of that. So tell me about uh, what the American school did for you and your career. The American School really pushed me to be as much as I could be. And I graduated from the UNAM Dentistry in Mexico, and then I was able to move to the U.S. for my master's. And I now became a leader in the movement called Forward Onyx, and I've been the author of uh, scientific articles and several books. <laughs> this one, but it's, it's really, it gave me a platform where I was pushed to my limits, and I was able to be successful, get to the States. I hold several patents on appliances. And of course, I met the love of my life in San Francisco. My turn. So, American school really allowed me to play. And that's how I went into media and then technology and eventually came back to Mexico to have this regenerative boutique hotel, which I'm really proud to say, made the cover of Travel and Leisure magazine because of the leadership role that we play in founding something called Regenerative Travel. And so it was Mexico and the American School that allowed all that to happen. So what about the people? The American School people, I find wherever we go, they're usually just some of the top people. And I think we've been lucky that way that in San Francisco we've been able to find a crowd of people that have gone like a fraternity or a sorority where we've really been able to find our tribe. Yes, wherever we've lived, we've lived in Spain, in the U.S., in Mexico, wherever we are, we find people from the American school that are successful and they're just really good people. So there must be something there. In the water. Uh, ASF, fond memories. Most of my fond memories were naughty. I used to cut class, jump the fence. Well, you know, all my fond memories really are about food. I remember like when we got out of school, like all the little ladies had set up their little puestecitos outside and the polvitos, okay? That's what I remember. Well, I remember I discovered the tortas with potato chips, enchiladas, adobadas inside your sandwich. And it was so great to have potato chips inside a sandwich. Those were great memories. The food was fantastic. A lot of people want to know how we met. And obviously your dad had done all the background work to make sure that I was a reasonable guy marrying her daughter, which included going to the American school. But on our first date, we went and played tennis. She kicked my ass. Six love, six love. She didn't even let me win a point. And then after that, we went to eat. And I said, you know what, that reminds me of a joke. And I told her a joke. And then she told me a joke. And then I told her a joke. She told me two jokes. And then I told her a joke. She told me three jokes. Let me jokes. tell you a joke right now. And this will help exemplify what I mean by being a bicultural. Tell me a bicultural <laughs> joke. There's little Johnny, and he tells his mom, how old are you, mom? And she says, Johnny, don't ask the woman that question. He comes back later and says, mommy, how much do you wait? Johnny, do not ask their weight to a woman ever. And then he goes back later and says, Mommy, how come Daddy left you? He says, Johnny, go out and play. No more questions. He comes back later and says, Mommy, I found out you're 34 years old. Hmm, interesting. How did you find that? It's right there in your purse. I saw your driver's license, and it says age 34. Oh, well, that was clever. I also found out that you're 120 pounds. How did you find out? It says, well, right there in your purse, your driver's license. It says weight 120. Oh, okay, that was clever. And then he says, I also find that way daddy left you. Oh, really? So tell me, because I don't know. And how did you find out? He says, well, right there in your purse. I saw your driver's license, and it said sex, and you got an F.
Can you explain to me why that was a multicultural <laughs> joke? Because in Mexico, you don't get grades as A, B, C, and F is not failed. You get 10, 9, 8. No, but that just shows you that I, I can understand the, the culture, the life, what happens in the U.S. and what happens in Mexico. So going to the United States... But she still says, open me the door, okay? <laughs> Seriously, I do want to say that it's been a privilege to be alumni of American School. And I feel gratitude because it really fostered the love of learning and we've become uh, lifelong curious people throughout our life and I think that was a seed that was planted in us back then. Yeah, it it's, makes you think about what great foundation we got through the education, through the teachers, through the experience. You know, I don't, I don't want to sound like a commercial and we're trying to raise money for it, but I think in, in connecting to the alumni we're connecting to our community all over the world where we are. So the American school is a really big part of, of, of our lives. So it's something that, that connects the two of us to each other. Into the world. Thank you. And to our next step.